The leader of South Africa's White Conservative Party said today he too might join the nation's first all-race elections, ending the last significant boycott. Bertie Hartzenberg says he is reconsidering in light of the Ankara Freedom Party's pivotal decision to take part in the electoral process. CNN's Peter Arnett is in Johannesburg following the run-up to next week's historic vote. Peter, what's the latest? Well, Bobby, two of the leading cam uh, candidates were either campaigning today in unfriendly territory or heading towards it. Budalese, the Ankara Party candidate, uh, did meet friendly audiences in his home uh, turf of Natal province. But tonight he is uh, heading to Johannesburg, where the audiences are expected to be less pleasant. Uh, now, Nelson, Nelson Mandela, the ANC candidate, on the other hand, was uh, campaigning in the Orange Free State, which is the Africana stronghold. And Mandela did assure his uh, white farmer audience that the ANC government will not confiscate their property uh, once they take power after next week's elections. Now, while political solidarity seems to be working at the top, trouble is continuing amongst supporters in the streets, Bobby. The graffiti tells it all. The East Rand Townships are mean places to live. We're going to fight! Violence is woven into the texture of the lives of the residents of two of the townships, Tacosa and adjoining Katlahong, whose slums sprawl southeast of Johannesburg. The Zulus and the immigrant hostels and the predominantly Kosa people outside once lived at peace with each other, united in their hatred of apartheid. But they began fighting as the power struggle developed in South Africa to replace white rule with black. It was my brother's funeral. So I think they saw many people there, they started shooting. This bullet here enter this window right into the in the wardrobe. Miriam and Kosa and her neighbors, who support Nelson Mandela's African National Congress Party, have a blood feud with the immigrant Zulu workers who live in the Tacosa hostel down the street and support the rival Encarta Freedom Party. They kill our, our fathers and our mothers and they kidnap some of them. So that's why we are trying to come to, to kill those people. The South African Defense Forces are here trying to keep a tenuous peace. But inside the Tacosa hostel, a dilapidated relic of apartheid in which migrant black workers were forced to live, the residents blamed the ANC supporters, who they claimed held them under virtual siege. It is a simple, so ANC is attacking IFP all time. The Zulu hostel residents are self-sufficient, relying on simple stalls to provide their basic needs. Centered in this strategic corner of the hostel was recent fighting that claimed the life of a news photographer, peacekeeping forces, and several residents. Just beyond at the intersection, the army armored cars can be seen, and closer at hand, the patrolling soldiers. The Zulu residents of the Tokosa hostel live in primitive conditions worsened by the recent fighting. The simple possessions of some residents have been destroyed, making life even more difficult for a people mostly dependent on casual work for a living. But the ANC supporters point to damaged abandoned homes outside the hostel to show that Zulu fighting has made life hard for them. A political accommodation at the top has brought stability to South Africa's upcoming election. But only the army can keep the peace in the East Rand Townships, and the election outcome is not likely to change that for the foreseeable future. Gene, overnight in Natal province, there were eight killings. Now, anywhere else in the world, that would be seen as a bloodbath. Uh, but here in that troubled part of South Africa, in fact, there was a sharp decline in the normal level of violence. Peter Arnett, CNN, reporting live from Johannesburg. Thank you, Peter, and News Hour continues in just a moment.